working on a DIY spine tester here because I am uh, very reluctant to spend 100 plus on it because I'm cheap like that. So I got the two points it'll rest. So I got a piece of bamboo and I put a piece of hanger through. Bamboo will clothes pin to here. I'll video it. How's that? If it works out. Took a piece of coat hanger, beat it into a bit of a spade bit, yeah. filed the wings off. That's what we're going to use to clear out that piece of bamboo. Didn't even have to drill it. I pressed the blunt in all the way through. I, uh, I thought the pith would be harder. Here I have an assortment of arrows, some of which are established good flyers. Some that just go nuts for some reason. They come off the bow and veer left. My friend, uh, Dr. Frank Schultz, who you can hear on Tundra Talk podcast, great guy, gave me some lead. Of course, between me and the kids, I lost one of those billets of lead. So in here is that one of those chunks of lead and some various pieces of steel weighs 2.1 ounces. So the idea is that piece of bamboo will move around. I'll close pin it in the right spot with the bamboo against the shaft, put the weight on, and see where the the uh, clothes hanger piece goes to. This arrow seems stiffer. One of my good target arrows. It's got some wobble in flight, but it goes where I aim. That's why it's still a target arrow, because it wobbles. That's why it's not to put away with a broadhead on it. This thing's pretty frustrating. Keeping it consistent is the hard part. I can uh, I can see why people spend a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars on spine testers. So it's set right now to read my good flying arrow. I tested a few others. They read weak compared to this one, and then I came back to this one, and I'm still reading that this is the correct spine. So fooling around with it, done some refinements, cleaned up some edges, actually used pocket hole screws to attach the all of the pieces and a Craig jig because the joinery on there was pretty pretty flimsy. It was wobbling around making it very inconsistent. I think I got it tuned. This shaft goes to the left but it's reading weak. I don't understand why a weak shaft would go left on a right-handed setup. It doesn't make any sense. Everything I read says weak shaft should go right. There's a bunch that read all very similar. Those ones fly well. And uh, it's, it's just frustrating as hell. It's, it's April in Alaska and everyone's surprised it's snowing. I'm just disappointed, not surprised. I might have to put an ace spine tester on the birthday list. So I've fooled around with it. Here is my control arrow. It consistently goes where where I aim if I do my part. It's the one I'm uh, calibrating the plungers on. The two arrows that don't go where I want, they read weak. Other arrows, some of them are target arrows and some of them are small game hunting arrows go where I want, either read similar to this arrow or slightly strong, slightly stiff. So I'm gonna change some stuff with these arrows. I'm going to shorten them somehow, probably from the knock end, because these have, these are internally footed with a nail to make them stronger at the shoulder. I'd like to see what this small game thumper did on a rabbit. So far they've they've shown to be more difficult to lose than ace hex heads. Not as difficult to lose as my homemade judos. 
but they're easier to make and less labor intensive and not as awkward as these darn things. But I haven't seen what they've done on a rabbit yet. Judos have done okay on rabbits when you hit them solid. They're difficult to lose. These really put the thump on the rabbits, but they're labor intensive, they break easy, but they're hard to lose. So I got the ends trimmed down, had to trim the feathers too. Hacksaw to cut them, tile saw to cut the knocks, little file to clean it up a little bit. Wrapped some thread around there and glued it down. I'll go test them at some point. It seemed they're still weak. I was, I don't know, 16 yards aiming here. A few more test shots. I compensated for the weak spine, aimed a little to the right. And at 1, 2, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 paces, a little bit low. 4, 5. I was aiming right here. Here and I hit that. I might just deal with it, and because you can see that my my point on is messed up with these. But uh, if I be conscious of that, maybe they're serviceable. We'll see. The schmoo's going to be my cameraman. Plucked. Good windage with a weak spine arrow. That. Look at that now. Good elevation, poor windage. Good job, Lou. Yep. Hey, do you go first before I go? You go. Excuse you. Oh, the, oh. the can. So there was a water bottle there I was aiming at. I got very close to it both times. I hit it the second time, actually. I got close the first time, hit it the second time. It's at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, four, twelve, five. 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 32, 33, 30, uh -huh, 20, 28, 29 yards each. First arrow, second arrow. Whack that thing. I think these will be manageable as long as I'm conscious of, uh, of their differences, which is freaking annoying. But uh, I, think, I think with that spine tester, I can get more consistent. Here's hoping. <laughs> 